I cannot believe she just did this. I have no idea why she would do this. I filed a police report, but the officers say they may not have enough evidence to identify her. She has these tattoos on her leg here. Again, I only play to put a smile on people's faces. And stuff like this makes me not want to play anymore. Also, this is her friends that she was with. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Another Karen, filled with hate, mischief, too much time on her hands, knocking over, in this case, a street performer's keyboard. That's what we're doing. Sadly, it's not the only time this street performer has been harassed. Let's go to 2023. He went viral when another Karen knocked over his piano mid performance and then allegedly stole from his tip jar. After the video went viral, people tracked her down. She apologized for the incident. How about an arrest? You see, I do see this about consequences, Mayor. She apologized. Uh, thanks. But they had to track you down first. And why'd you do it in the first place? And why are these people arrested? Why didn't people chase after her? And I'm not saying I want a vigilante mob, but I, I would say this is not in you. But if you tried that, Mayor, I bet you you'd be tackled and held. What say you? Yeah, we wouldn't be calling me a Karen. We'd be calling me a thug too, right? That's right. So, like, this is so funny to me. All of these this behaviors, this is unbelievably reckless and completely uncalled for. So this this is not a victimless crime. Uh, the the other one that apologized and got away with it. You did you, that is assault on property and person. You should absolutely you stole something. That's theft. So why 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 are, why are there no charges uh, presented when Karens behave in this manner? And it's also deadly when we know when they escalate and say, oh. Especially when a black person involved and they call the cops for no reason, that is a death threat. So I, I don't understand how they get to walk away like this, except for this is America. Yeah, and uh, I think even the reporting, the the victim here, the clear victim, it's like you know, it's not viewed as the ultimate threat. It is. It's more of a nuisance. But you're right. Why can't we just keep it simple and go by the statute? You took someone's property. In one case, you stole. You knocked over a piano. You, I mean, it's simple, right? If I couldn't get away with that, why is this person? They tracked her down and she apologized, and then it happens again. The one we just brought you. I, I just think it's ridiculous, and it's as if these people keep getting a break. Like perhaps those who view it, perhaps law enforcement. And judges, if it gets that far, say, well, you know, that could be my kid. Kids will be kids. But when it's a 14 year old black boy, this is, uh, we got to show them because this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to torment us and they're going to terrorize it. No, this is, you're terrorizing people. And they're not going to stop until they get it handed to them. And I'd say the same thing, Mayor, and I'll give you the last word about the January Sixers. All oh, this prosecution. It took too long. The sentences are too light, too much appeasement, too much leniency. And they're not being viewed as who they really are. And I mean, you, come on. I'm Joe sorry. Biden even said it, Mayor. If it, if it looked like you, come on. You have, you have a Republican candidate for president saying these guys are hostages and they were, they were warriors, they were heroes. First of all, in order to be a warrior, you must be an expert in war. Therefore, they weren't peaceful protesters, and that's, these are your words. How, also, when did it become uh, a hostage to lock someone up for a crime? 
When did that become considered hostage taking? Also, are we just going to blow over the fact that nobody ever talks about that these people staged a bomb outside of the DNC? They have oh, weapons that's right. on the Virginia side of the Potomac ready to be shipped in by boat across the water into DC. This is absolutely ridiculous at what the way and levels America is willing to go to not make uh, white people face consequences. Yeah, I know uh, some hostages, Central Park Five, thank goodness uh, they were freed, okay? And by the way, nobody wants to hear your, your off key J6 choir either. So you can stop playing that. Okay. 